VOD, you can go back and watch that back. And uh, it looks like his opponent is Chikorito, which... That's a male Chikorito? Also, apparently this is Void, bro, if you look at that sweatshirt. You, you know... know. <laughs> I, I didn't know Void played Corrin. Yeah, uh, he's, he's changed after Smash and Splash, right? He won his major with Sheik, and we got another Robin up here. I, I, this is the wrong saga. <laughs> They, they missed uh, FE Saga last year, apparently, but yeah. still rocking it. Is Robin one of the sages in the new Zelda game or something, man? I, I just got Breath of the Wild, you know, so I haven't seen. You know, I don't want to spoil it for you. <laughs> okay, it is okay. a wonderful trip with some some time travel. Some, okay, I'm not going to say anything more. And anyway. uh, Princess Corrin with the Triforce of Wisdom, of course. Mm -hmm. But right Let's now, Corrin, uh, Cosmos, rather, keeping this juggle going, but still at relatively close percents. I mean, this is kind of scary. I imagine this is still within the bounds of Checkmate. Never mind that up air sealing the deal. Yeah, now going to need a little bit more rage or just straight up damage for that down throw up air to kill for Robin. Cosmos, though, not even concerned with that. His throws will just kill you straight up mm -hmm. a couple percent later. And here's where we're going to see this lead potentially snowball for Cosmos. Gets off the edge with the pin. Gotta always respect this character. She has so much range, even in a position that looks bad, she can still probably hit you. Yeah, and I noticed that's been causing problems for Chikorito in the neutral because uh, Cosmos is able to mix up bursting and suddenly, and he's forcing Chikorito to toss in a lot more jumps, but then you get juggled by Cosmos instead, and that ends up being just as rough of a situation. Robin, such a dangerous character with stage control, but Corrin so dangerous every time she hits you. That was such an early kill. Can't have been great DI yeah. on Chikorito's part, but either way, Cosmos making quick work of him in that first game. Chikorito looked like he had some moments of brilliance at the beginning. Yeah. Just needs to channel that, stay grounded, play that neutral game. That's where Robin excels. You've got a lot of ways to keep your opponent shielding, and then you get a lot of reward off of grabs once you've conditioned them to do so. Yeah, yeah, got to stay siege sieged up, calm, you know, one step at a time. But it's so hard, once again, when you're up against Cosmos, who's, who's willing to th smother on that pressure with those pins at any given moment and mix in grabs of her, his own. Got a smart counter pick here to female Robin costume. Vastly superior with all the fire emblem options. Oh, We've yeah. seen it included. It's 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 always for the the correct choice. The uh, the female character, I think. But oh, actually not gonna be able to get that pin follow up. But still, Chikorita in this same situation. And the one thing I notice is that when he's in disadvantage, he keeps fading into Cosmos as he's coming down to land. And I like to see him sometimes mix that up, fade back towards the ledge instead or something because he's. He's putting himself in sword range. Yeah, you don't want to land aggressively against a character with this much range. And especially with the frame traps that Korn brings to the table, you're seeing Cosmos just rise with forward air, land with neutral air repeatedly. And that flow chart, that lather, rinse, repeat strategy works so well. You get a lot of reward off that landing neutral air too. There we go, though, getting some, some mileage out of the wider stage here at Town & City, fading back, tossing out those L-fires, getting a good charge on the Arc Thunder too. And there we go. Just getting an F-Tilt. I think he wanted an F-Smash there. That's the Tilt Stick Curse, man. You get more optimal inputs, but you got to try hard for those smashes, and sometimes it doesn't pay off. Mm -hmm. Actually going to be able to sneak his way back on stage. Eleven Sword, though, gone. Oh, wow, Cosmos with the sense to grab it and toss it back for some extra pressure. These guys are having a catch. Wow. It's after school time. This is, this is looking like father and son, or yeah, I guess exactly. mom, mother and daughter, but still, <laughs> finally, Eleven Sword actually goes away. Oh, the empty land, though. Cosmos, after two whole games of landing with neutral air every single time, <laughs> decides, you know what, it's time for the grab. He'll never see it coming, and he didn't. Chikorito going to need to dig deep as Cosmos is just playing with his items. Another two stock. Wow. And that, that last neutral air and just being so slow as a character, not being able to turn around and get that grab soon enough, and Cosmos knowing that was the option, immediately fading back and getting the tipper pin. Man, that was that looked pretty rough. That looked pretty rough for Chikorito. Cosmos looked like he wasn't ready for the set to be over at the end. He was still like looking at the screen, fully intent, um, yeah, focusing on it. You know, still in still in war mode, right? 